Tuesday, July 13th, and I have Pollyanna with me. Yes, we're gonna hike some this morning. Yeah, Pollyanna's go a couple hours in with me and then a couple hours back out. So she'll drop me off after a little bit of a hike. After a little bit of a hike, <laughs> but hopefully a lot less of a hike than what you had to live through yesterday and yeah. the day before and the day before. So it'll be uphill start now. But it's the beautiful bald pates. Yes, so let's get this done. Amen. Never get away from the roots in Maine. Yep. It's 8.08. We are starting our hike up the bald pate. Pollyanna's going to hike with me for a couple hours and then she's going to hike back out and, and pick me up at the end. I have 10.3 miles today. So here we go. 3.1 to the top. Fry Notch Lean 2. Oh, East Bee Hill Road. I got 9.4 left. So you said they're mushrooms? Uh-huh. And they're up and down the AT. <sighs> Saddlebags? No. And Crawford's that's the section she got lost on. Who got lost? Jerry Longay. So do you know the story? Oh, the, the lady. The lady who got off the trail and yeah. eventually died. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in that section, huh? Right. That's the section. All right, it's been two hours. I got 0.4 to go to the top. It's starting to spit rain. And Pollyanna is headed down. Be very careful. <laughs> I will be. It was pretty steep. Yeah. All right. Happy trails. I will see you at the end. Yes, ma'am. All right, there she's going. Yes, and I'm going to see how long it takes me to get down. All right. 10-12. 10, 12 now? Yep. All right. All right, we'll see ya. It's starting to spit rain. I'm gonna hold off. I'm putting on my top raincoat until a bit later. Ah, oh, I really like hiking with Pollyanna. All right, Let's see what I got in front of me. Here we go. Four, point four to go. What's been nice about this last section is they've put rock stairs in a lot of the way. It's almost 1030 and I think I am close to the top. Hoping it should be going up. I like it. Right. Pretty sure that's where I gotta go. <laughs> the other peak. Starting to head down. Alright, heading down. Need to get across. First ladder. This is pretty. It is 10.45 and I have a half a mile to the peak. That's where I just came from. It's exhilarating. 
Anthony would have loved it. Terry, not so much. The view coming down the other side. a bird I thought they would go again. It's pretty sounding. On that starting to get slick. There's a ladder here. It's been a little tricky getting down some of this stuff. Looks like there's a metal ring ladder. It's 12:08. I decided to break out my umbrella. It is really starting to rain, but well, it's not pouring yet. We'll see if I keep the umbrella or put my rain jacket on. I have to skirt a lot of trees to get down rocks, so we'll see. This trail is a bit overgrown. Hard to see underfoot. Been seeing a lot of droppings. It is 110. I I've just come up over the last ascent, or big hill, or whatever you want to call it. And the rest of my four miles will be downhill. It is 1.10, so we'll see what time I get down there. I'm hoping at least a mile and a half an hour. Who knows? If I can go any faster, it really depends on the terrain I run into. I'll have rocks and some slick spots probably. So I just need to watch what I'm doing. All right. This is the kind of terrain I can deal with. You know, you got pine whatever bark and stuff on the ground it at least gives you some traction and you can move a little even though it's downhill so that's the that's the kind of trail I like versus the big slabs that you have to like maneuver around the edges it's still pretty Overground, can't see underneath, so you don't know what you're stepping on. Ugh. Look at this. I 
And all the leaves are wet. Got my rain skirt on, so that's helping. So this is what I came up with for my umbrella. It's a quick way to put your umbrella away if the woods are just too close or if the rain is stopping and starting. That way you don't have to stop, take your pack cover off, and then try to put your umbrella away. So it's just these uh, pull tab things. I have two of them. And it seems to be holding it pretty good on my hiking stick, hiking poles. So, just an idea in case you want to try it. Listen to the birds. Oh, now they're not talking. So it's two o'clock. I had to cross over this log. Decided to take a quick break. Oh, I like this terrain down here. It's been pretty good, had a mix. I like it when the, like I said, there's more dirt than rocks. So they've been mixing it up a little. I'll get a bunch of rocks together and then it'll clear out. So not bad. So two more miles and it's two o'clock. I just take a quick break, maybe a quick snack. Pollyanna might be heading my way. She's going to meet me at the end and uh, hike in to get some more practice because she's going to be hiking the saddlebacks, the crockers with us, and uh, she wants to make sure her knee is all set for heavy weight. So hopefully we'll run into her. I spy with my little eyes, Miss Pollyanna. I see you. Hey. Hi. I'm reading your post. Oh, you got cell service? Um, I do. Like, maybe even too far. Wow. Down here by the water. Pretty awesome. The cascades and the falls are obstructed based on my reconnaissance from Pollyanna. It's never flat. <laughs> That's all I can say. A nice little waterfall just before we get done with the trail. It's pretty. Pollyanna's up there taking a picture. I get slick there. The bees. I think there's a. <laughs> I don't think they want fires in here. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. But you could have a tent there. All right, where's the blaze? So it's got to be up. Yeah. Well, there's the blaze. I think we crossed a little too early. So we're going to cross back. Well, I don't know. Pollyanna said she crossed somewhere. 
Must have to cross again. Did my 6.2 plus more. So this is where we're supposed to cross. <laughs> there you go, that's the way you do it. It is 3.23. We are done. Gonna eat my lunch now. Mm -hmm.